Well, I'd like to have a definitely definitive no on the XL pipeline. That doesn't mean that our work's going to stop because there's other pipelines that are already in the works and in conversation. Um, but, you know, I think that we need, we need a win on our side to really show that, you know, corporations are not people. People are people, and here they are, and they're speaking in and, and huge numbers. You know, this is not everybody who's here out in the cold, but there's a lot of people who really care about this. They're the ones who are signing petitions, who are calling up their legislators, and they have a voice, and they, needed to be, they need to be heard, and they're not the ones who are paid lobbyists to be able to have an ear, um, you know, have the ear of our legislators. They, we need people to stand up as leaders for them. You know, this is who we're vote, you know, these are the people who voted for, for these changes, and these are the changes that we want to see. That climate change is a hoax. You're going to be heard about It puts at risk my neighbors to the east of me that live at the tar sands. Now we're suffering environmental genocide as a result of ConocoPhillips refinery being on our land, as well as many pipelines underneath us. And now Keystone and Keystone XL are disrupting our lives as well as the lives of our relatives in the northern country. And we're here to make a difference. We're here to be in solidarity with all of us who understand that we have a very slim opportunity to make human life continue to exist. And, and that's, that's our choice. Keystone Pipeline stands to plunge our earth into a state that we can't come back to. You know, the, it's a huge carbon bomb. Uh, it's going to ruin ecosystems all throughout the states and in Canada. Um, it'll just make this world a place where I won't be able to live later, our children won't be able to live later, and it's, I think it's just important to be down here and tell people that we don't think it's okay.